A threat intelligence program is all about gathering data and turning it into operational intelligence. A threat intelligence platform, also known as a TIP, is really about enabling a threat intelligence program. So what that what it does is it gathers all the information into one centralized location, allows the an analyst to take that information, process it, and make it actionable for the company. So every organization and enterprise has different requirements and different uses of a CTI platform. Um, primarily it is to be that single pane of glass um, for intelligence. So you can have different sources from ISACs or security groups, from commercial feeds, from open source feeds. And I suppose it's taking that workload off um, having to try and source and look at different platforms and panels to have it in one um, view. A threat intelligence platform is uh, something that you're able to ha handle the threat intelligence data with, and it's able to consolidate it and normalize it. So what it has is you've got all your different threat intelligence sources, and each one speaks their own language about uh, what type of threat it is, how malicious it is, how active it's been, maybe if it's inactive now. But if you can bring that all into the one platform and map them correctly, you can translate that into um, a common language. If you know the threat actor, or you know the hacker, you know the bad guy, whatever term you're going to use, you can, you can identify them with an email address. You can identify them with an IP address. And those very technical details are called indicators of compromise. Once you have that into a centralized location, you essentially have an encyclopedia on threat data. Probably the biggest challenge that we see is the volume of data. There's um, obviously so many different incidents happening on a daily basis. There's a staff shortage as well across the industry. Uh, so it's trying to manage the ever increasing events and information that's coming at the, the desk of the analyst. So the other key element to a tip is the scalability. So imagine if you have one analyst that has to go out and get the data, bring the data in, process it. The time that that takes is pretty significant. Whereas a tip will automatically go out and get that information uh, via automated services or community driven. So imagine that one analyst becomes an army of analysts bringing that data in. Ultimately what that'll do, it will bring that information, that threat data that's released and it'll make it actionable quicker. The threat intelligence, uh platform, it takes your um, security from being reactive uh, into a proactive space. You know, so you want to analyze what the common threats are in your area, maybe what's happened to someone else in your industry. You're able to put in uh, safeguards to try to stop something before it happens. Norse Kaidro, who was hit by uh, a ransomware attack recently, it cost them approximately $50 million to fix. So if you can prevent that, it's a wee bit cheaper. So now that you got the data in, the important thing is getting the data out. So they're taking it and they're pushing it down into the firewall to block the adversary immediately, or they're taking that data and they're pushing it to uh, their host endpoint integrations in order to prevent the, the malware or the phishing email from properly executing. Another thing you can help with is that if you want to generate your own threat intelligence and share that within your community, you don't need to set up the infrastructure yourself to help disseminate that. The platform is built in itself to help facilitate the uh, dissemination of that information. When a customer is looking at acquiring a threat intelligence platform, the first thing they may want to start off with is a free program. Uh, similar to what we have called Stacks. And that'll kind of get them introduced to what threat intelligence data is and how to process it. And then from there, they can grow with Anomaly and they can move into a more robust threat intelligence program. The um, cyber threat landscape is constantly evolving. And so they need to be on top of that to proactively prevent breaches, prevent exposures. Um, and so it's obviously our job to help them and, and give from that view um, of what's going on and what's relevant to them.